going on guys welcome back today we're gonna to be working on a 1994 25 and a half foot pro line it's a pretty good sized boat this top that's on here obviously it was not made for this boat this came off a sports fisher or some type of sports boat it's way too big it's been retrofit to fit on here and whoever did it they had some issues some problems you see here this this one's completely broken through what I'm gonna do is I'm going to eventually take this top off and redo the entire top this winter but to get them through I'm gonna make some gussets they're gonna fit in here and on the opposite side try to weld up some of these cracks so we can get them back on the water let's get to work all right just to give you a little closer view of what we're gonna be working on here you see it's broke all the way through on this side we're gonna get this fixed up all right guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some cardboard templates for the gussets that I'm going to burn out. Looks pretty good. Let's make the other side. That looks pretty good. Let's get back to work. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm marking my cardboard templates off at one inch increments. That way you can shrink the screen or enlarge it to make it match up with my one inch measurements. That way I can draw these parts in the actual size that they are. so it didn't start cutting right away, you know what I mean? Straight down a little bit? Yeah, but more up at like a 45 and then roll it around. It could be like three quarters of an inch long or something. Yeah, something like that. Thank you. 
All right, as you can see, got these welded up good. Nice and strong, welded on both sides. I hope that's enough just to get him through. I really do. This tower is all questionable. I mean, it obviously is way, way too big for this boat. It is cool though. Gives you a lot of shade. All right guys, it's a wrap for this one. The reason I wanted to do this video is because we live right here in Virginia Beach. We are only 20 minutes from the ocean. I'm really into this style of fishing and this particular boat right here, we'll have a part two. We're going to redo this entire T-top, reinforce it. We're gonna make this thing sick. We're gonna put the crow's nest up top with all the steering cables and controls. It's gonna be a bad fishing rig. I am purchasing a pipe bender. As soon as that gets here, I'm gonna get into building some more of these T-tops, handrails, grab rails, anything pipe related, it's gonna be sick. I also purchased another boat. It is very similar to this and I'm going to be doing a complete T-top with controls and crow's nests up top. It's going to be my ocean fishing boat. I just sold my Hydra Sport and I kind of feel like I need to have an ocean fishing boat. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hit that like, subscribe button, leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything you want to see or you got any ideas about anything that I'm doing. I appreciate it. I'll see you all next time.